Welcome to Tony Goss's Inspired Flow. We have the opportunity and ability every day to work on ourselves in a real way, to allow that flow to enter our being and to tap into it, even when sometimes things seem like they're not going the way we'd want. And the true reality is, whenever there's some sort of seemingly rejection or something doesn't work out, it's an opportunity that directs us more towards our true flow and these are just places we weren't meant to be involved with and not because of fears or insecurities or anything negative just because that wasn't the path we were supposed to go so in a way it's directing us closer to what we need to be doing and that's a good thing so a person just has to allow themselves through humility to be guided down the path that flows and that can be worked on on a daily level this is going to be called the inspired work on yourself flow and I think that working on oneself shouldn't be exclusive it shouldn't be something which doesn't include an awareness and humility of the people around you that working on yourself you're very much part of a reality of many many people are indicators as I once explained there's a beautiful um, psalm Mizmo Shili Amashabas and it, if you take the first letters it's Hamoshul the, the whole point of creation is to come to that moshul, is to come to that ultimate song of Shabbat, of, of disconnect, to reconnect, of true connection. That whole song is Mizmo Shir. The day of song will come out as a tremendous moshul. Moshul means a story. The, and what you understand is the ultimate moshul, the ultimate story, is just an indicator, like the uh, same letters as Shlomo, Shir Hashem Mashal Shlomo of how intense our relationship is with our true self, our soul, our our holy teachings, our creator, our inner world. It's a love relationship and that's a very big part of Pesach. We actually read Shirashim. We connect into that light of the Moshe, the the ultimate story. It's to realize that everything in our life is is Mashalim, is, is stories indicating like Shlomo Melech wrote 3,000 Mashalim on every single point and he was able to bring that out on every single point that this story in life, you know, that what, what interests us about movies, what interests us about brands is the story behind it and that is a reality on a daily level with, with ourselves of how to attach ourselves to the inner flow. For me personally, when I was a young teenager, The Celestine Prophecy, I don't know if you've heard of this book, but it was something which helped open me up to understand the divine providence, the flow that exists, the aura that exists with people in life, and that there's something drawing you towards an inner inner journey. And the inner journey led me to, you know, to Jerusalem and to 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 constantly see more and more this divine providence. And right now at certain times in life where life gets a bit more, you know, um, you have more responsibilities and sometimes there's a, in, a bit more of an intense calling to do certain things you have the opportunity to really experience the flow on an even more enhanced level that the, the decisions you made meant you're even more closer onto that path onto that flow and therefore it's a much more sensitive agile and there's a word like you know a delicate process like anything you do does have ramifications does have flows and sparks and does make ripple effects you start to realize but in a positive way that there's always ability one to come back towards the flow of life and to reconnect and there's always ability to fix what seems to be a, a loosening or a somewhat confusion on the path so this is something which every one of us has ability on a daily level to work on, to allow yourself to see the stories that are in your life, how it fits together, how it flows, how the people around you are, are the part of these mashalim. They're just teaching you deeper and deeper lessons about the ultimate mashal, which is your true story, your true mission, your true purpose, your true value in this world. And that gives you ability to practically tap into your, your personal mission, your personal story. That would be huge in branding. Like what in any business, you have to know what exactly is the story, what is the purpose. So for example, my Unity Inspires projects, it's pretty obvious that it's all about bringing out that unifying flow in life. 
that's my personal branding and that's something I'd like to develop more and more and then we have whatever you know we do in our daily life with our family and friends that there is a connection and it is a flow and it's not just whatever and you know sometimes you can feel like wow I'm just like waiting for something to develop or open up sometimes the best answer is to try one to initiate yourself but two to realize that you know there, there might be something guiding away from that right now because you have other things that you can do that you can achieve that you can focus on you know it's always a good idea like a rabbi once said to me like if you're ever in an appointment waiting for someone and you say you're with your wife or with your loved one your relationship person so you have an opportunity now to really connect and talk because instead of being frustrated by that waiting time there's an opportunity now to talk you've been slowed down by your circumstances and now you can look at the person who you're with and there's going to be obviously um, volunteered scenarios which you should actually create on a weekly level to, to have that important intimate moments with the people you love like uh, personally one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm reading stories every night to my kids and it's a real opportunity to like connect with them in a different way um, help them with their English because they, they grew up a bit Israeli and we have we have that moment in time where the space is open to just connect instead of sitting more on Facebook or Instagram or something like that there's an opportunity to actually connect with my children the ones I love and uh, you know share something that brings out that imagination that creativity and that could be useful in their journey in life and they'll remember these moments with their tati with their father reading to them as I remember my mother reading to me and that was also a big part of the flow they had the good news I'll be in London um, on May the 5th till May the 8th for my family's uh, golden wedding and honestly I was dreaming very intensely the night before that I found out they were making a party and it's sort of honouring my daughter who's going to be coming that time anyway and now I'm accompanying her at least that part of the journey that they made a party to celebrate you know the 50th my parents a big achievement and I was a bit upset you know like all my grandparents and everyone I grew up with always used to do it as a family event and suddenly the family event hadn't come together and I was dreaming about it and all the people and now you know I woke up feeling quite disconnected and then I got the email like a few hours later after waking up and I already had a ticket and flight booked by the next night and uh, you know everything's set up so I'm excited to go to London and reconnect with my friends and loved ones that are there still and it will be for you know good things to celebrate 50 years of marriage it's not a small thing and that is something you know which all the time where you're feeling something you're feeling a disconnection you know I, honestly I did pray and did hope that something better would come out of that situation and it did and it gives you an opportunity to you know when it does work out to be ready for it you want to have connection you want to be on that flow with people and and continue on from all those special moments we shared and we should be blessed to have many more we should be blessed to have you know long marriages marriages that are happy and and have uh, relationships and connection that really brings out our inner flow so we can understand the daily messages that people are giving us through our relationships with them and then we can come to the ultimate story that we have within and live it in a unified flowing way have a good one